Okay. Welcome back to Blue Ridge Now podcast, uh, where we talk a little bit of NASCAR from the week before, and uh, we'll talk about NASCAR uh, going forward over the next couple of weeks when we go out west. I'll be joined here shortly by Dean Hensley, the sports editor for the Times News newspaper. Uh, this week was a, a different week in Atlanta for all of us. Uh, we had some weather in the morning, didn't know if that we were going to be able to get in there, uh, get the race in or not, but we did. It was a lot of anxious moments for the teams, though, as they have to prepare to go out west for three weeks. And uh, so very excited about the weekend. And uh, my name's Steve Bartall, and I will be telling you just a little bit about my weekend. Uh, we'll welcome in Dean Hensley here. Right there. Uh, I'll be telling you about my weekend. I'm spotter for Michael McDowell and the uh, travel, uh, travel, uh, excuse me, the Loves Travel Stops uh, 34 Ford for Front Row Motorsports, and um, get to do that every week, which I've been doing for about 17 years, 30 years in the sport, so I really enjoy it. Uh, we'll go over just a little bit of video, give you some ideas of what we see from the spotter stand, and just talk about the weekend in general. And uh, it was quite a contrast from uh, Daytona to Atlanta this week, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it really is. You know, Daytona and Talladega are a beast of their own. They, uh, it's just drafting. It's about speed in the car and positioning yourself for the end of the race to get a good finish. It comes to handling when you get to Atlanta. The track's worn out. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different things going on in the track um, that, that they have to, the crew chiefs have to prepare for. And each driver handles it differently. It's a track that predominantly is loose. Uh, the drivers, they have to go faster to be tighter, and a lot of drivers aren't willing to do that. But as we saw, Kevin Harvick certainly could to get that done, dominating Saturday, dominating on Sunday, uh, really in the class of his own when it comes to Atlanta. So I'm sure there's 39 other drivers that would like to get the place um, um, repaved and get it to a different, a different speed. Was it uh, one group that was working better than the others? Well, the, the, when we go to some of these mile and a half, a lot of them are the bottom group only. Atlanta isn't. You know, uh, fast cars are on the bottom at the beginning. The tires, uh, Goodyear tires, they fall off. They, they fall off anywhere from three to four seconds a run, which is m more than normal. You know, Daytona, they don't fall off at all. We'll go to Vegas this week, they'll fall off about a second and a half. So to fall off three or four seconds, they go from averaging over 190 to uh, barely 170, but they're still out of control. So, so there is a lot of fall off, and uh, but there's also three or four different grooves, and so that's what the drivers look forward to. If their car doesn't handle on the bottom, they can go up to the top, and if it doesn't handle on the top, they can go to the middle. So it gives them some options. Was it? Uh, uh, I know Daytona. There was a lot of hairy moments there with the, the everybody packed together. This seemed like they were more spaced out. Maybe. Yeah, I think what you see, uh, you know, Daytona, Talladega, the cars all run together. So when something happens, it happens to seven or eight of them. Atlanta and the, most of these mile and a half where we run, you know, 20 some of our races, it's not pack racing. So the, the biggest thing is the restarts, is when they get started at the, after every caution or every segment or, you know, that, that type of stuff. So the restarts is where everybody feels they're strong enough to make up positions, and that's as a spotter, that's what you're looking for. Trying to get your driver so he can get ahead of a couple guys at that point, so uh, a little bit later in the race, they're, they're positioned to get a good finish. And how did Michael do during that? We had a little bit of a off weekend. As I told you from Daytona, you know, uh, Daytona kind of equals out the smaller teams and the big teams. The, the money doesn't quite matter as much, and and and... And the you know the larger teams with five or six hundred employees versus the teams with a hundred employees they equal out a little bit. But when you get to the places like Atlanta, especially with a lot of the changes they've been making in the setups with no ride height rules and, and that type of stuff, there's a big learning curve this year for everybody. So some of the bigger teams catch on to that quicker. They have more resources and, and stuff. So but we had a little bit of a rough weekend. We uh, we qualified good. We qualified 17th. Uh, practice pretty decent. You know somewhere in the mid 20s. When the race came, the car uh, was tight most of the day. It ran a little bit cool. They made adjustments. Uh, Derek Finley, as the crew chief, made some great adjustments on the car. But uh, if, you, if without a lot of cautions, if you're not on from the beginning, you fall back. And we did. We fell back to about 30th spot. And then, thankfully, towards the end, raced our way back up to 24th. So we head to Las Vegas next week, uh, 15th in the points. And it's uh, something... 
that, you know, we'd like to stay somewhere around 15th or better. And in order to do that, you're going to have to get segment points or you're going to have to finish in the top 15 or 20. So that's what we're trying to do. But with the video here, I was trying to show you, Dean, this is typically my view. We had already parked for the day. This is during one of the practices. And you can just see some of these cars. They're kind of probably hard to see on the camera. But there they're going down into turn one and they go away from us. And you can tell it's kind of hard to tell. He's up high. He's down low. If I can clear him or not. When I go back to turn four over here, we'll still shoot a couple cars going. I don't know where the video's at. But you go back to four over here when they come out. This is a really bad angle right off of four because they are running high and low. And you're looking for them to clear them so they can get up. So the driver, when he goes to make that pass, the one thing he wants to hear is clear, clear, clear. That means he can go up to the wall because the groove goes out towards the wall. If you don't clear him, he loses a lot of momentum and speed. And you can see from our view, yes, we got the best view in the house, but it also is very tough at times in order to help the drivers. And uh, you can talk about the difference spotting at practice as to a race. I mean, are, are they listening to you at practice too? Yeah, you know, it's, it's ramped up. Like I told you about Daytona, we have four radios on. You can see some of the guys here. It's a little more relaxed, of course, uh, during practice. Even though there's some cars passing each other right there, it's a little more relaxed and you're just really trying to fine tune your car for the race. And you can see I took a picture kind of all the guys, just some are setting. During the race, nobody sets. It's a, it's a tough situation, but during the race when it gets ramped up, it's all about every position. So you're just trying to do your best, not only for your team, but, uh, but for everybody out there and keep them safe. And, and that's what we're doing up there. So that, that's what we got right here. And if you can talk about the, uh, the Las Vegas coming up and how it's different. Yeah, I'm going to and... stop that. And, yeah. yeah, so we're getting ready to leave tomorrow, actually, for a three-week West Coast um, uh, race schedule. First, we go to Las Vegas, which nobody really cares. We all kind of like that. Vegas is a fun city to go to. Uh, we're there twice this year, actually. The first race of the uh, playoffs is in Vegas also. So this is really a great test for that race in uh, September or early October, whenever that is. So we go there twice this year, but uh, Vegas is a mile and a half. Same distance as Atlanta, a lot different track, a lot different bumps, a lot different corners, uh, not as much banking. They will still go fast in qualifying. The tires won't fall off as much. Once we finish Vegas, some of the teams already will have their cars out in Vegas. The track and the hotels allow them to work on their cars in the, uh, in the uh, uh, parking lots. And so some of the team members will stay over. Myself, I'm going to fly on down to Phoenix to see my mom and mom too and dad uh, down and spend some time with my family in Phoenix, all my brothers and sisters out there. And uh, looking forward to that. You get a little bit of free time, a little bit of golf time, a little bit of whatever, you know. And, uh, and uh, so going to spend a couple days down there. Then we race Phoenix that week. And that's a mile flat track, which that is uh, pretty much a one groove track and it is one of our toughest places we spot from i'll try to do some live video from out there because it won't be here next week but i'll try to give you that angle it's really hard to see where even though it's only a mile track when they go down into three and four and then after we leave there same thing the guys will truck out their cars for california which is a two mile track which is a lot different than what we've had in the past and there's four or five grooves there and the guys can run the bottom the middle and the top and run at about the same speed so when they're out there and we'll get some shots from out there, they look just like little, um, I don't know, like grains of salt on the table. They re really look small when they're away from you. It might be one of the only, other than the Daytona Talladega that we use binoculars a little bit more off of turn two and type of stuff like that. So, so the crews really have to, they just got done with a mile and a half. They have to go back to a mile and a half, then a mile track, and then a two-mile track. And then we come all the way back to Martinsville, which is a half-mile short track, and then get a week off So uh, for Easter. So that's where we're at right now. But uh, thank you all for joining us. Send your questions to Dean ahead of time. We'll try to do what we can to answer anything we can. Uh, you know, there's something new. Not very uh, polished at this yet, but we do enjoy uh, you watching. And uh, hopefully we can give you some insight to NASCAR as the future goes on. Thank you very much. Thank you.